upstairs. It's George Blanda and Warren Moon proving they belong. Now the Texans battle for what they fought so hard to take back. These are the Texans. In San Francisco, gold is more than a color. It's a standard. It's the brilliant chemistry of Walsh in Montana. To Steve Young ripping the monkey off his back. To chase Jerry up that hill. What's up guys, I'm back here with some more Madden NFL 25 player franchise and happy new year, happy 2014 to all of you who are still supporting me and continue to support me no matter what I do. You guys are awesome and we look forward to seeing what we can do so f in the next year of 2014 and today we are actually in Sunday Night Football against the San Francisco 49ers here at Candlestick Park and I actually always wanted to go to Candlestick Park but I know it was always on my bucket list but I guess you know dreams are always being shattered on a daily basis uh, Candlestick Park is no longer uh, being played in unless you know the Saints and for Saints and 49ers meet in the NFC Championship which could be very well possible but I don't think it's gonna happen but you never know what could happen in the NFL so you just gotta you just gotta hope you know uh, it's just unfortunate to see Candlestick just go like that. I mean, I'm glad they won if that was their final game at, at Candlestick. But, you know, I, I always wanted to go there because it's always one of those, you know, great places to go. It's like it's just an iconic football field slash baseball field, if you will, because I remember the Giants used to play there back in the day, uh, back before they moved to, uh, I think it's uh, AT&T Park or something like that now. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, you know, great iconic field and Reggie has the honor of playing on that field on this day and right now we're up 7 nothing on the 49ers so Reggie in the alone back in the shotgun looking he's gonna take off running he finds some open space look at him look like a running back on that play he found the open hole and just exploded right through it for a big gain on that play so later on his third down we've completed all of our third down so far today Reggie looking to complete another but it's not gonna happen as he gets sacked by Dorsey and the 49ers are gonna have to get the ball back but let's see what they can do with it nothing so we're still up 7-0 on the 49ers. Here's Reggie scrambling out of the pocket, debating the defense as always. That's just one of his many strengths. Just That one's just more noticeable. He likes to bait the defense, and he does right there for another big gain. So on first and 10, here in the second quarter, we're going to hand it off to Arian Foster. He's got some wide open spaces and gets a first down. If he would have taken that more outside, he probably would have got a lot more yards, maybe even a touchdown. But, you know, Arian Foster and Reggie Branch have a love-hate relationship. Because there's be some of these carries where he's just like, uh, you know, not acting like a running back. And then there's those plays where he does act like a running back. So you see get, me get that big completion to Andre Johnson down inside the red zone, down inside the five, or down to ten, I mean, and my apologies. But we do get it in. Arian Foster being a good running back, and he does his little take a bow. And now we're at 14 to nothing on the 49ers. Now Reggie back to throw again, looking over the middle to the big O, the Owen Daniels. And now we're inside two minutes, so we're trying to get another touchdown. So Reggie back to throw again. Over the middle, deep this time again to Owen Daniels. Inside the 20-yard line, down to the 18. And Owen Daniels is just a beast. I mean, this guy is just amazing. So later on, second and three at the 11-yard line. Reggie looking, looking, scrambling out of the pocket. He's trying to find somebody. He's going to take off and does get a first down to the five-yard line. Now later on, we have a little bit of a stick play going here. So Reggie on third and goal, looking, 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 dumps it off. Touchdown, Houston Texans. And now we're up 21 to nothing. And look at him do those little dance moves. Happy birthday to the ground time as it's now 21 to nothing here in the third quarter. San Francisco not putting up many, uh, not much of a fight. And so much for that golden standard that they said in the primetime intro, huh? I don't think they're playing up to their gold standard. So, Reggie Branch completing 81% of his passes. My goodness, he's on fire today. He's got a touchdown pass to boot. So, Reggie scrambling once again, looking. He somehow gets the completion, but Owen Daniels coughs it up, and Patrick Willis gets the fumble recovery. Thought we had a good completion right there. I turned something out of nothing, but Owen Daniels fucked it up. 
So they do get a field goal out of that. It's 21 to 3. And we don't get the first down right there. So they, you know, we have to punt. And but the defense does get a touchdown. It's 28 to 3. Reggie scrambling out of the pocket again. Throwing it down the field again to Tate. And Reggie just finds himself in trouble. Then he finds himself out of trouble. You look at Colin Kaepernick's percentage. Oh my goodness. I could do better than that. I'm serious. That's just terrible. 29%? My God. So we get another completion to Posey. Posey is really good. I like this kid. Every time I throw him the ball, he seems to catch it. I don't know. But, you know, he, he's just like one of those guys. If it wasn't for DeAndre Hopkins, he would probably be starting. But, you know, it's always good to have good receivers. You know, a quarterback would love that. Just ask Peyton Manning. So Reggie throwing it in the end zone. Touchdown to Keyshawn Martin. And now we're up 35-3 to as Keyshawn thr fake throwing it into the crowd and just being a douche. So 35-6 <laughs> to in the fourth quarter. Ben Tate getting the handoff. He's going to get taken down after a good gain and a first down. Later on, it's third down for the Houston Texans. Reggie back to throw, scrambling out of the pocket like he always does. But this one's batted down by the San Francisco defender. And now they get another field goal. So it's 35-9. to Handoff, Ben Tate. Taking it up the middle. Man, if he would have taken that to the right side instead of going left, man, he would have had some big yards. I'm just saying, the running back logic in this game is just somehow, it, it's not it's not logical sometimes. I could see the holes myself, and I'm just thinking like to myself, what are they doing? Seriously. Andre Johnson, nice catch, though. Six catches, 78 yards for the guy, Andre Johnson, that you see right there. Megatron Jr., Reggie back to throw again, looking, scrambling, looking again, keeps on looking, going to run this time, and he's going to get inside the 10-yard line, down to the 6-yard line, as Reggie's looking to score again with a minute and 22 seconds left. We have the goal line formation. Let's see what we can do with it. Reggie trying to look for somebody, scrambling to his left, does find Owen Daniels in the end zone through double coverage. Nice needle pass right there. That was beautiful. So we end up taking this one in a big win, 42 to nine on Sunday. Or, yeah, I think this is Sunday night football or Monday night football. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we we're still undefeated. I'm really surprised. Like this is this isn't on all Madden, but you know <laughs> the way this game plays sometimes, it's like you know you have barely any time to throw. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a first time viewer, please subscribe. Also stop by my second channel, Old School Sim. But until then, I am out. Peace.